。新加坡政府辖下建筑学院呢座大楼，号称系零耗能建筑物，主要系靠太阳能发电，终极目标系成座大楼只系用可再生能源。We are aiming to save close to 50% of the energy, so we want to make this a super energy efficient building. And the other thing that we want to do is having reduced the consumption of the building, the remaining energy will be supplied totally by solar power. 节能嘅第一步系室内照明。善用陽光折射入室內，開關可以隨意控制調節光暗度。當冇太陽嘅日子，或者到咗夜晚，儲起嘅太陽能仍然足夠使用。另外，新加坡天氣炎熱，一年四季都要開冷氣，絕對唔環保。但如果喺天台同埋外牆種多啲綠色植物，都可以降低室內温度。政府用咗十個月嘅時間將一個大樓大翻身。加上呢啲太陽能板同埋四處種滿植物，咁就可以達到節能嘅效果。不過，大廈翻身要加入綠色元素，都可能受制於本來嘅建築設計。For example, the original orientation faces west and east, which is actually not very good. But we can't change that. There are also existing conditions of the building. Certain conditions makes it quite Quite difficult to bring in new new technologies. 虽然限制唔少，但佢哋都选择咗翻身，避免拆卸重建，造成大量建筑废料。新加坡政府决心推动环保建筑，计划到咗二零三零年，全国八成建筑物要符合绿色标签嘅水平。政府亦都提供实实在在嘅资助，鼓励其他业主效法。There's hundred million dollars for building owners to upgrade their buildings. To be more energy efficient, and so if a building owner spends spends a million dollars, you know, to upgrade the the air conditioning system and so on, he can get back thirty five percent of that one million dollars from the government. 就用建筑学院呢座大楼为例，翻身加入绿色元素，成本虽然系贵咗，但系按政府资助额除开之后，成本增加就系好轻微。For most of the the green building technologies that we're trying, they all add up to about five percent more than what we would have paid for an ordinary retrofit.